Life is Strange as a series has touched a lot of hearts and has made people make hard decisions that would affect their characters that they have fallen in love with. But the previous Life is Strange games had protagonists with supernatural abilities such as time travel or telekinesis, two abilities that just don't exist in the real world. Unless one of you watching can travel through time, and if you can, then do me a huge favor and go back a few years and tell me to invest in Bitcoin. This new protagonist, Alex Chen, however, sports a new ability for the series. An ability that is actually something some people can do. She can see auras. Hi, my name is Chris, but you can call me Goshen. As a former paranormal investigator, ghost hunter, I'm also a very spiritual person, and I too can see auras. I'm going to explain everything about auras, so all of you who will be enjoying this game can have a better understanding about this unique and fun ability. Aura reading has been around for a very long time, dating back to Eastern medicine. Most cases in the East, auras are referred to as chakras. Views regarding auras can vary as different cultures use the term to refer to different types of energy. But in all cases, auras do refer to energy that a person projects. I'm sure a good deal of you have seen auras or energy in different animes, for example. While those auras usually reflect a person's power, the variation we will be looking at is more linked to a person's emotional state or feelings. The reason for this is because that's the way the game is showing the ability. Aura reading is usually tied with empathy. A lot of times being able to see a person's aura allows you to also feel what the other person is feeling. Because aura reading is considered to be paranormal or a pseudoscience, there isn't much evidence to back the claims that people make in regards to aura reading. So because of this, people who have interest in things such as this must find their own answers. So these explanations moving forward are from my own findings and experiences. And I hope that I am able to teach you a little bit about my world and the world that Alex will be entering. Abilities such as these tend to manifest themselves after a traumatic experience. A near-death experience is the most common of the triggers, but others can include losing a loved one. In Alex's case, it seems to be the latter. In my findings, there are two different types of auras. There's a base aura and an aura that changes. The base color a person has usually reflects the demeanor on a regular basis. For example, a person who is always calm and emotionally sensitive would have a blue aura as their base aura. Auras can change depending on the emotional state a person might be in at that moment. So let's go through the different colors and their meanings and tell you the differences between a base and when the aura changes. A person with a red aura as a base may be passionate towards everything they do. They will tend to go towards the extreme for everything. For example, when it comes to love, they will give it everything they have. But if a person who had a different base changed to red, then it's usually out of anger or rage or frustration. A person with a yellow base for an aura will usually be your bubbly type of person. They always seem happy to see you, and that's because they genuinely are. If a person's aura changes to yellow, it again means they're in a good mood and they have high energy with a good outlook on whatever made them happy at that moment. People who have a blue aura as a base, as I mentioned earlier, are usually very calm. They don't get rattled easily and can usually make others calm as well. This is due to them being sensitive to the emotions of others. If a person's aura changes to blue, it is because they have calmed down from whatever got them excited to begin with. This aura can also show up when a person becomes sad possibly because of a loss of a loved one. 
or a tearful goodbye. Usually the expression feeling blue comes to mind. Those who have a green aura as a base tend to be at peace with themselves and their surroundings. They are what we call being grounded. And no, not in the go to your room type. Think more like electrical. But we'll go into that a little later in another video. People with green auras are typically healers, like doctors and therapists. They tend to go out of their way for others who need them. People who change to green typically do so because they are being compassionate. And because this is very similar to how a blue aura works, you will typically see it change between the two. This color will also show up when someone has the urge to protect someone who's close to them. So those are the four most common auras that people emit. But there are more, and so we are going to talk about the other four that are special cases. And the reason why these four differ is because for one of them, a person does not have it as their base, and the other three are not affected by emotion, meaning there is no emotion that will make you have these three auras. So I'm sure many of you have heard the phrase, that person has a dark energy around them. If you have, then it is likely you encountered a person who has a black aura. People who have black auras do not have it as their base. If a person has a black aura, then it usually brought on by a situation in their life that they are unable to move past or cope with. These people are usually pessimistic, negative, and are usually rude to others for no reason. A person who has an indigo aura is usually an elderly person with a lot of wisdom in their years, or what people can refer to as an old soul, wise beyond their years. This type of aura is not based on emotions and would be their base aura of that said person. The next two auras can represent a person with high spiritual awareness and are both considered rare amongst people. A person with a violet aura can also have abilities themselves, though they may be different from person to person. A person with a white aura may also have abilities, but because they live in a different state of mind and are open to different possibilities in life, as well as having a balanced personality, they have a white aura. Think of various spiritual leaders, such as Mother Teresa or Gandhi. Now, I want to take a second and explain something that I don't see many people talk about in the paranormal field. And this is regarding people who have clear auras. Clear auras are very uncommon, and a person who has a clear aura as a base means they do not have an aura color of their own. These people are usually much more susceptible to other people's emotions. These people can take on auras of others which can affect their own moods in both negative and positive ways. And this is what happens to Alex Chen, our protagonist in Life is Strange True Colors. This is also where I leave you. Join me on the next video where we will discuss in more detail what is going on with Alex and how everything affects her. Until then, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something today. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. I'll see all of you real soon.